Welcome to this one hour special, An Evening of Miracles with Billy Burr.
And by his strength alone I overcome And oh, I could stop and count successes like diamonds in my eye. But those trophies could not equal to the grace by which I
miracles. Do you believe in miracles? That's what this evening is all about. It's about an evening of miracles, and we're so glad that you're here with us. We're broadcasting here from Orlando, Florida, and any time during this meeting when the preaching or the singing or, or the spirits moving, that number right there, that 800 number, that's for you. There's real people at the end of that prayer line. They want to pray with you. And that's not a sign that you don't have the faith. It may be a sign you just need some extra faith. Did you ever need something extra? We all do. That's why those people are there. They come in, they donate their time to hear you, to listen to you, and to really pray that there would be a quickening power of the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, he can quicken something. If he can quicken a dead man, come on, he can quicken your condition. And we welcome all of our Facebook family. Oh, it's so great to have you. I'm really glad. And, you know, I know you watch and maybe you don't want to call, but you can make that comment. I want to hear it. And push that share button. Come on. I want you to send this signal out because some great things are about to happen. I want your friends to hear this. Hear what? Hear the good news that Jesus still heals. And I, I, I sensed as our precious team was singing here, there's so many that are just, but Lord, when's it my time? So many that are been captured. David said, my soul set free from the fowler, the snare. I don't want you to get so caught up in always listening and always watching. I want you to get caught up in receiving. Well, Billy Burke, how do I do that? You just reach those hands out right now and begin to say those words, Jesus. Say, Holy Spirit, I receive. Come on, begin to make that word, I receive. That's what Mark 11, 23 and 24 is all about. Believe that you receive. Start using the word receive. Not I need, I receive. Not I want, I receive. Not I desire, I receive. Come on, say that with me. I receive. Oh, the power of the Holy Spirit's on so many. So many. There's someone as a man, and you have polyps on your colon. That's on your left side. This pain is coming on your left side. It's not cancer, but there's polyps there. Normally, they would have to be surgically removed. But for you, sir, he's removing them right now. I, I, Ezekiel 26, 4 says he's scraping you. God is scraping through your colon by the Holy Spirit. Those polyps are being removed. I'm talking to several women who's having trouble conceiving. You've, not, you've done everything imaginable and you can't seem to receive. Some have endometriosis. Some it's on the, your husband's side. There's an issue. But God is overshadowing you in this moment like he overshadowed Mary. He's gone past the laws of physiology and he supernaturally, between you and your husband, between you and your wife, there's a conception taking place. I'm seeing three couples right now, three couples about to conceive. Oh my, let me know this. This is so exciting. I believe it's so exciting. We've seen so many through the years receive their miracle baby. And God's doing that right now in some of you, those three for sure. But reach out and grab that if that's you. How do I know if I'm one of those three? You don't. Grab it. Call the number. Tell the prayer person. Say, hey, I just heard Pastor Billy say that word. I want to be one of those three. Let that signal. You may be calling a number, but the master's watching your effort. You're really calling the third heaven. That's what you're doing. We're just the, the go-between. Okay, we're just that, that channel before you get to the main channel. Prostate cancer being wonderfully healed. Those, those that PSA level is very high. I believe it was between 10, 13, 15, and it's dropping. That is dropping even as I'm speaking. Please go call that number. Now's the time. Now's the time to do this. 
you say, yeah, but I did this before. I've called so many prayer lines. Sir, listen to me. You don't know. I wish I knew, but we don't know when the next time is your time. We don't know that. You know, whenever Naaman was dunking, how many times? Seven. It took all seven times. How about Moses? How many trips did he have to make? How many exploits did he have to do before those people were released? I mean, for me, whenever that, whenever his staff turned into a snake and ate all the other snakes, I mean, that'd be enough for me. But sometimes there's a hold. Sometimes there's, there's a hold on, a, on an illness. It's more than in the body. It gets into your thinking. It gets into your, into your mind. And sometimes it's harder getting it out of the mind than it is the body. And you got to hit it and hit it and hit it. And that's what we're doing here every week. We're going to be here every week, every Saturday night at 7, Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Tell your friends because we're going to pray. We're not putting pressure on God. Never do we put pressure on God. We put the pressure on the yoke. That's where the prayer, they, the prayers go to God, but they hit the yoke. The praise goes to God, but it hits the yoke. God uses everything that we do to aim at that yoke, and it breaks. And many of you now are sensing a relief, just a relief. A chronic fatigue syndrome, Epstein-Barr, these viruses are leaving your body. They're just leaving your body. Oh, hallelujah. Glorify thy name. We 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 go after we do. Glorify thy name. Glorify thy name. Let's just sing that softly. Everybody, come on. Thy name. And we glorify. Blood pressure is just equalizing. Type 2 diabetes being healed and someone with double vision. Look at me. Look, come on, just rub your eyes a little bit. Take your glasses off if there's, come on. Those eyes are getting singular and you know it. I, yes. Yes, you're happy about it. I get it. It's a miracle, you're saying. It's a miracle. Yes, it is. That's what this is. And I want you to call now and share it with us. Come on. Calm down. I'm speaking to a lady, you're in a wheelchair, not because you can't walk, it's because you're, you are, you're exhausted. You're just absolutely weakened. I believe this was the, uh, the effects of a stroke. And you're so used to that wheelchair, you're so used to just being pushed around. But I'm telling you, he's quickening your body. I want you to make every attempt to get out of that chair. If there's some people around you, that'd be wonderful. And just say, would you help me? I want to try. Hold on to the sofa. Hold on to the refrigerator. Whatever you have to do, make an effort. Because the moment you make an effort, the strength of God's going to come in behind you. He'll never ask you to do something. He don't give you the grace to do. Come on, tonight's your night to break just sitting in that chair. You actually have a cushion in the chair. It's not just a chair. You have a homemade cushion. You have been there a number of years. It's your time. I'm talking to somebody in a motor scooter. Come on, it's time to get out of that scooter. 
I know it's effort. I know you don't feel like it. I know you've gotten used to that. But miracles happen with a course of action, something we all have to do. We have to give the last handful. We have to give our lunch. We've got to go show ourselves to the priest. We've got to dunk in a river that we don't want to dunk into or fill the pots with water or go wash in the pool. We've got to do something tonight. Come on, I'm asking you to do something tonight. This worship that, that takes place here at Evening of Miracles, every song we sing, every word we say is to create movement. Why? Mountains move. Sycamore tree up moves. Cancer moves. Someone, your throat, I'm not sure what kind of an allergy this is, but your throat's closing on you. It closes and opens. It's a frightening thing. This has ruined your social life, basically. He's healing that, that disease. I don't even know the name of it, but it's the closing and opening of your throat, being wonderfully touched by the Holy Spirit. We give you such praise. Someone wearing a fiberglass, not, not, a, not an ace bandage, it's a fiberglass wrap. It's some kind of a wrap. There's a real issue with your spine, your back. You're basically immobile without this fiberglass. He is removing that fiberglass. He wants you just unsnap it. Take that Velcro belt off. God's doing a, a miracle touch in those bones. He really is amazing. Touch of the Holy Spirit. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We love you, dear Jesus. We love you, dear Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. We praise you, dear Jesus. What a powerful move is happening right now. Someone named Linda, there's just a release of care and worry over a family. He's releasing you, Linda, from all the burden of the worry, the care. We give him praise. There's a lung cancer. This is lung cancer in both lungs. They're telling you it's inoperable. But someone named Jesus is beginning to operate on you. Oh, mighty touch, mighty touch, mighty touch. Mighty touch. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we praise you. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, my. Hallelujah. is saying, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. All that music is so beautiful, but I don't know what to do. Look at me. Look at me. Reach. Not in. Reach up. These are simple gestures that can connect you. He said to Peter, sinking, just take my hand. Just take my hand. He told the man, just pick up your bed and walk. 
This is don't don't mess up simplicity. Come on, I want you to reach. I want you to say his name. How long has it been since you said that name? That name of Jesus. Re Jesus. Come on, Jesus, help me. Jesus, heal me. I receive. I receive my mighty touch. I receive my mighty touch even now. A hyperactive thyroid. Your thymus gland. Right in here, your thymus. It's a major gland is being wonderfully healed by the Holy Spirit. It's amazing. We give God praise. We give God praise. I'm talking to an older gentleman. You were a victim of polio many, many years ago. It's left you with a limp, a, a crook in your step. More than that, it hurts. You live in chronic pain. Sir, he's healing that leg right now, and he's making everything crooked straight. If you'll get up and begin to walk, you're going to see your whole gait straighten out right now, your whole gait. This is from an early polio situation years ago. He's healing you in an amazing way. I'm talking to a teenager, young girl. You have metal braces on from your knees, a little bit above your knees. These aren't fiberglass. These are metal or steel. I'm not sure. I'd like you to sit down and unfasten them. Your strength coming into your legs. That's a mighty, mighty touch. Almighty oh, Jesus. That number's right there. That number's right there called... Share that button with your friends. Send that comment. We will answer every prayer request as much as we can. And don't forget when you call, when you call, get that special offer of that CD. It's called Letting It Go. This was made just for you for amount of any donation, whatever you can afford in this moment, whatever, we're going to get that CD to you. If, if you give me your name and your address, we'll do an MP3. We'll download it. But for any amount, we're going to send that to you. I want you to get that inside of you. Because you don't want to get trapped into a religious treadmill. That you're just praying and praying and praying, but you're not expecting anything. You're singing and singing and singing, but you're not expecting anything. We got to break that, expecting nothing, and get you into yes, yes. I receive, yes. Oh, amazing. Yeah. And His Spirit and His love. Yes. Oh, let him have the things that hold you. Have the things that hold you. God will descend upon your life. Come on and make you whole. Come on, let's all say the name. All say the name. Some lady came to a meeting. This song reminds me of her. She was dying with late stage leukemia. Precious lady. I'm going to let her tell you. Okay, I'm going to let her tell you. 
It's a little clip we have for you. I'm not quite sure where this meeting was, but let's go listen to her. I'm coming back to pray just for you. We have a lady today in the studio, and she's here to give us what God did for her. And this is Evelyn Hendricks, hey, Laura. Yes, huh? Pastor. What's happening here? Evelyn, good to see you today. Thank you. Good to see what you. What happened to you? This is, you're from Florida? I'm from Sebring, Florida. Sebring, Florida. Tell me yes. what happened. Well, in January of 2016, I was diagnosed with leukemia. Leukemia. It was a big shock, although I knew I was losing weight and not feeling too well, but uh -huh. it was a big shock. Uh-huh. And then... I was in, in, put in the hospital after my first trial of, of uh, chemo. Chemo, you had I chemotherapy. Had, I had chemo and I had an allergic reaction after an hour. Wow. And I was put in the emergency room and sent to the hospital and they admitted me and was in there three days. And then my sister I told me you were going to be at Christian Retreat. Oh. In February, so I came over there at Christian Retreat uh -huh. and I got in the prayer line. Uh huh. Even though you didn't call it out, I got I in there. I got in there anyway. See, now wait a minute, Evelyn. Hold on. Sometimes you, some of you that are always waiting for God to call something out, you know, sometimes that He'll do that. Other times, He expects you to rip off a roof, to climb a tree, <laughs> to get in line, you know, to to push your faith forward and say, you know what, Lord, here I am. I need help. You know, and I know that's not the most favorite way to do it. But look, and you got to get desperate. Desperate people do desperate things. Come on, say that. Desperate people do desperate things. It's time for some of you to get a little bit more desperate, and that's why that phone number is there. You know, go on that line and call. Please call. I want to find out about you today. And so you came to the retreat. You got in line and what? I got in line and I was one of the, almost at the end anyway. Oh. But when you, when you came down to lay hands on me, I told you I was fighting leukemia. Yeah. And of course I went down on the floor and stayed for a while. And <laughs> It was just an ongoing thing because I've kept coming back to your Sarasota services then. Yes. Aren't and they good this year? Aren't they powerful? They're very, very good. Uh -huh. And I was in the hospital five times in six weeks. Yeah. But then it all stopped. I came to your uh, April service in Sarasota and got in line again. And when again I was, you got it. You mean you got in line twice? And when I was three times or more. Oh. But when I got... When I was on the floor, you said that God was uh, healing my blood supply. My bones were making good blood. And? Uh, and after that, no more fevers, no more hospital stays. <laughs> it was wonderful. And I kept coming back. <laughs> and I've given a testimony in Sarasota a few times. And the end of March, the doctor told me I'm in remission. So when I was giving my testimony and told you, the doctor said I'm in remission. You said God said healed. Yeah. <laughs> doctor says remission. God said healed. Sometime, and I thank not God all the time, he did. But sometimes the medical profession has a hard time saying this word. Heal. That's <laughs> true. Sometimes they just have a hard time with that word, so they say remission. And I'm telling you, you did the right thing. You didn't quit. No. Do I, you hear this lady? When she she gave you an, an mo on what to do. She got in line. She didn't quit. She got in line again. She got in line again. How many times do you have to get in line? Whatever it takes. I'm not saying you have to do it multiple times, but, you know, don't give up so easily. <laughs> right? Isn't that amazing? That's right. And you live in Sarasota? I live in Sebring. You live in Sebring. And you have a church there? You go to church? Yes, uh -huh. I go to Crossroads Fellowship. Crossroads. And have you told your pastor? Yes. What's he say about this? Well, he's went through a lot of medical things, too. Well, they're happy, too. Yeah. They're happy for him, but he's been going through a lot of medical things, and he was had healings, too. And you have no more recently. leukemia? No more? No more leukemia. It's all gone, and it was so quick. I mean, <laughs> normally you don't get over leukemia very that's, quick if you get over it. That's <laughs> why we call it, Evelyn, it's a for God. miracle. Exactly. Say that, miracle. miracle. Let's look on the camera and say miracle. It was a miracle. <laughs> Tell him, say, you can have yours, too. Yes, and you can have your miracle, too. You have to trust in God. He's the only one. <laughs> oh, my. This is precious. Thank you, dear Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You can do that. You can do that. You can reach, too. It's okay to get angry, not at yourself, not at God, but just get angry that the devil has had this much time with your life. Just begin to say, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I'm so done. I'm not part of the curse. I'm part of the blessing. I'm not called to be sick and weak. 
I got a life to live and a job to do. I'm telling you, when you see other people and you hear their story, it, it just makes you want to just get healed yourself. <laughs> it just makes you think, well, where's mine? Sometimes we need to be motivated again and again and again. And we need to see people that go before us receive and receive. There's nothing wrong with that. Receive tonight. Receive tonight your special touch. Many are receiving. I mean, there's a lot of people being healed right now of fibromyalgia, pain in the joints, inflammation in different parts of your body. And now, and now I know, I know he, he touched me and made me whole. Come on, singing, he touched me, everybody. He your hands out to the screen. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. Dear Holy Spirit, oh, release the power into each person. Heal that pain. Remove the aches in the joints. Remove the inflammation. We give you such praise. We give you, there's a hiatal hernia, a hiatal hernia in the center of the chest, disappearing. And now, now I know, he touched me. Singing, he. you to do me a big favor tonight because many people come to these meetings or they watch online they they feel the presence they reach they do everything but check you're you're wherever you are I mean you may not be at home but whenever you get home I mean you need to disrobe you need to whatever you have to do but check that part of your body if you have to call the doctor to get an x-ray or a cat scan that's what expecting means. It means I'm going to believe, not just believe, but I'm going to expect, not just expect. What's expect mean? It means I'm looking for a miracle. I'm going to go look for it. I'm going to call that dentist. He said that he, he didn't say it. He said I had no bone in my mouth. He said I, I'm going to go say, take another picture. If I told you how many people over the years went back for another CAT scan, another x-ray. 
whether it was an ovary or a lung or a stomach that wasn't there that God put there. He is a great miracle worker. So I'm asking you to really take, if you're at home, then you have the luxury right now to go check. And then let us know. Please let me know. I want to share the joy with you. I want to shout from Orlando. I mean, clear past Toronto and out to Seattle and around the Hawaiian Islands. Let it be a sound heard around the world that your God showed himself strong on your behalf. And there's many right now, you're getting your memory back. It's been a real memory relapse. It's horrible. It's frightening. It's embarrassing. But you're going to begin to have a quickening in your, in your database. And your mind will be sound again. So you lost it, but your mind will be sound again. Call that number. Please call the number so we can stand in agreement with you. I sure hope we can be in a meeting real soon. I do. I do hope we can get back and be face-to-face where we can touch you, pray for you face-to-face. But until that time, we're going to be here each and every week, Saturday night at 7, Sunday morning at 10 a.m., here waiting for you to meet us right here. And we're going to sing, and we're going to worship, and we're going to believe for your yoke to break, your pain to go, your diagnosis to change. And some of you, if you will do what I'm asking, get to an appointment, have another blood test, have a saliva test, a urine test. It's going to be different after tonight. I want to hear about it. So until we see you again right here on the stream, or who knows, in a meeting, remember Mark 10, 27. With God, all things, come on, say all things, are possible to him that believes. Hope to see you soon. God bless you. Thank you so much for being with us tonight for this special evening of miracles. Please keep Pastor Billy and his team in your prayers, and please consider sowing a special seed today by going to BillyBurkDonation.com to help send this healing signal to the nations. For everything, for oh everything, yes, everything.